Okay, so I got my drill motor on the floor on my way. Uh, so we got our center drill here. And we got our pilot drill. And we got our final drill. So it's a 64th of an inch over 5 sixteenths. So it gives me 15 thou in my hole when I'm done. Should be plenty. Because I'm sure the bracket's got a really loose hole in it. Okay, so I'm going to put the hole right through there. You can see what the bracket looks like. So we should be close. it's going to be, which is uphill like this. That one's through. Put the big one in. About the angle it's going to go through it. See why I had the bracket back there? Because I pushed hard up against it when it hit. It's doing its job protecting things. All right, so that one's in there. So we can put the whole exhaust system on there, or I can just put the bracket on here and just go for it. Which way do we want to do it? The easy way. Not put the exhaust on 15 times. Okay, so I need to get the bracket off the pipe. So that would be this one here. Just down here. So you can see how that looks on that. None of this stuff has to be very accurate because these holes are at least 3 eighths and the bolts are 5 16 so it's pretty easy to work with. And I'm thinking I might bump these up to 3 eighths. I don't know. They only need to be 5 16 5 16 is pretty sufficient for holding the pipe on. But, but I like big hardware so the hole is big, so it usually means big hardware, big holes. Let's see how this is going to fit in here. And this is not a very good fit, so bigger bolts is probably better. So that's a 3 8 bolt. Looks like that's what it's made for. So I'm going to bump my hole up to 3 8 So we'll get rid of this one. And we'll go up to the bigger one. I'm going to go one size over 3 eighths. And we put the hole a little bigger. Okay. That 
one's in there now. Okay, now we use three ace hardware. Easy on mounting stuff, you use fine thread. You use coarse thread into a, when you go into aluminum or stuff like that. Or you need quick removal, you use coarse thread, but fine thread is stronger. Okay, so that's gonna be there. We are gonna have a problem with hardware hitting on that. I think what I'm gonna wind up doing is put the bolts in from the back side. Doing it that way. Like that. Now we don't have a bolt sticking through, eating through your brake line. Might be an important thing that you probably wouldn't want to be doing. relatively level so at least it's a slight downhill but straight with this piece here so right there gives me an idea where we're gonna put the hole of course we're gonna have access again because it's hidden figures everything we're doing is biting me all right, so how are we going to do this? We just got to do it by eyeball. We don't have access to drill it or mark it. So you see how the hole is almost 100% behind that. We don't have access to it. So basically we're just going to measure up, mark it. Right now we're vertical straight up to the top of this. Put the hole in it. It'll all bolt together like it's supposed to, so it shouldn't be a problem. So, we just have to deal with it. Looks like it'll bolt together pretty good with that length bolt. piece there too. Okay, measure your whole center. So we're about three quarters of an inch on center. So we go up three quarters of an inch and mark it. And yeah, we're going to be right up into our point up in here we don't want to be in. But oh well. This is going to be very accurate. We're just going to have to go with it. Of an 
inch is right there. Yeah, we are going to be into the round spot pretty heavily. Oh well. Just have to deal with it. It's kind of springy. Alright, we just have to make everything go up the way it needs to go. dimension pretty close to three quarter doesn't have to be perfect it's going to come down anyway the problem is our bolt's going to be up in the round part here so it's not going to fit very well anyway it's going to want to drop where's my wrench at scale at so this hole's going to go it's going to drop down below our center point anyway even though I'm at three quarter right now, it's going to go down. When you put that bolt in there, it's going to drop pretty heavily. So, you might as well have to play with it a little bit. These holes don't have a ton of clearance in them, so might be fighting a little bit. We'll see what we can do. Pushing hard. Slid the bike. Okay. We're below the brake line, so I have to worry about drilling into it. big drill in there it hits on the radius and drops down not much I can do about that I'll just try to drill up into it and I'll lift up the drill when I get in further and I'll kind of get in a little closer too hard. Ah, much better. Okay, not too much burr, so we're all right on that. Clean up our mess here. Actually, went in there better than I thought it would. I figured the bolt's going to be at a big angle. It actually, went in like it's supposed to. Good deal. Here. 
They bolt it on. That's all that matters. The angles are kind of weird, but oh well, it's what it is. So, looks like we need a little bit longer bolt on the top. It's got a big gap on the back side, I'm sure. Yeah. Definitely. You need anything longer bolt. See if we got one. Probably not. Okay, had to go a quarter inch longer. Yeah. Pretty long, but should be a major problem. So that lack of space in here is definitely a problem. If I do that bolt, I won't be able to put a wrench on it to tighten it. I'll have to use open end. I don't want to go open end, so I'll use a little blue Loctite. We'll still try to put a nut on it, but it's going to be tight. So we'll put a little Loctite on just to make sure it's locking. It's in a very limited space. These nuts off. A lot of room in there, in weird angles. It's gonna be kind of a pain to do that, but oh well. You can see how it's gonna have a lot of access in there. You don't have access in the back side there because the bolt heads up and against the round. So you pretty much got bad access no matter what you're doing. So we got to tighten it up right here and then hopefully everything lines up with exhaust. I don't have much option here on what to do. We're limited. This one's easy. We have access. 